for adequate investment in children, supporting them with appropriate policies, strategies, plans with both human and financial resources. This formed the crux of discussions at a meeting of child representatives across the country in the nation's capital to highlight challenges affecting them. Kemi Balogun has more in this report. This Children's Day celebration has become more important than ever before to ensure that all leaders listen to the ideas and demands of children. Education, climate change, conflict, discrimination and other factors continue to affect the rights of children. In Nigeria's northeast region, for instance, 2.8 million children are in need of emergency support education in some conflict areas. More than 800 schools remain closed and 497 classrooms have been listed as destroyed, with over 1,000 left damaged. Children and young people are raising their voices now more than ever before on the issues that matter to their generation and they are calling for adults and leaders to create an environment for a better future for them. These child representatives are here to put forward the need to address some of the challenges that affect them in trying to get an education and live normal lives. And my call to fellow children is this. Don't let the current challenges you are facing discourage you. Take it as an inspiration. Let it motivate you to never give up. Because no matter how dark our environment seems today, the future is bright to go. We ask government, development partners, and all Nigerians to ensure speedy implementation of the Child Rights Act. We also implore the government to expedite action on the implementation of the Safe School Declaration. While the domestication of the Child Rights Act is a very critical first step to stopping the war on girls, it should also be backed by financial and human resource for its full implementation to provide a favorable environment in which children can realize and release their full potential. As we engage the policy makers using the tool of our voice, we believe our own stop will keep talking on behalf of other children who keep talking and advocating on their behalf. Because if we don't speak and if we don't advocate for them, they can do nothing. So far, 25 states have domesticated the Child Rights Act and 11 remain unchanged. More commitment is needed towards making the domestication of the act a top priority. Now the bill has to start yielding benefits. Now the bill has to start bearing fruits and outcomes that children would enjoy in their, every, in their everyday life, not just on the National Day celebration. According to the World Bank, more than 70 million Nigerians live below the poverty line, with women and children bearing the brunt of this poverty. Factors like this continue to hamper the effectiveness of the...